Hey, what's up? It's Jared with Ditch Auto, and today I wanted to talk about my Sony A6400 vlogging setup. Now, a while ago, I did talk about some accessories that you can get for your A6400, so it could be a vlogging setup with a mic and all of that good stuff, but that's kind of transformed for me a little bit over the last several months, and I wanted to talk about this setup and why it just works so well as a good solution for vlogging. Now, I don't vlog all the time. A lot of times what I end up doing is just kind of shooting a little insert for another video that I'm doing. Doing, but I like having this setup because it's just so versatile and I can use it in so many different ways. The Sony a6400 has become one of the cameras that I carry with me all the time because it's just such a fantastic photography camera, but then it shoots beautiful 4K and has all the features that I need in a kind of more run and gun style setup. Uh, and as far as vlogging goes, it's an excellent camera for that as well. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about why I felt that uh, this camera was just so great with this setup. So the A6400, of course, very often is used with the uh, 10 to 18 millimeter lens just because that's a really great focal length on this type of camera for vlogging. You've got the 10 to 18 millimeter, so you can get like a good, you know, range uh, distance between you and the camera out in front of you. But then if you need to get in a little bit closer, you can zoom in closer to 18 and be more tighter in on the frame. Uh, it's also a really good photography camera. I've actually used this setup um, and also this lens for shooting real estate photography because that 10 millimeter just getting really wide and shooting some HDR has just been really great with this lens. And so showing you a couple of those photos. I've also shot a lot of video with this setup as well, just because um, real estate video, you want that wide shot. And so it just works out really good um, having this lens on this particular camera. Now I went ahead and put a small rig cage on the camera because I wanted a little bit more to hold on to on the camera, which is why I actually went ahead and got the wooden grip as well. It gives you a really nice amount of camera to hold on to now, and it doesn't add much weight at all. This camera setup is still super lightweight and uh, doesn't no strain at all carrying it around and holding it um, and then with a little attachment you're also able to get the microphone on here and up and out of the way obviously if you are putting this cage on something like the a6500 or an a6300 you wouldn't need this little adapter you could just put the microphone right in the hot shoe mount because your articulating screen isn't an option on those cameras. But with the A6400, we want the screen to be able to pop up and be seen unobstructedly without the microphone getting in the way. And so we need that little small rig adapter there, which uh, I actually kind of like. And I've been using it with this uh, Deity mic here. This is the V-Mic D3, which I think is an absolute fantastic mic. It powers on and powers off with the camera automatically, so there's no worries there. It runs off of a single cell battery so and it runs for a very long time so there's no worries about charging it up or remembering any of that stuff you simply throw a new battery in it and it's good to go um, the only thing that this mic doesn't have that its bigger brother has is uh, the adjustable volume on the back of the microphone so you have to make those adjustments in camera which is okay it's what i'm used to with all the other mics that i used before switching over to deity uh, so this mic just works really good and it actually has a little bit of uh, of adjustment here uh, forward and backward so that you can kind of you know if you if you want the microphone a little bit closer to you you can do that or maybe uh, if you're setting the camera flat on its back it's actually nice and level so i mean there's different reasons why you might want to adjust the um uh, alignment of the uh, of the microphone here. Um, I have it set just like that because I want the microphone to be as close to me as I can get it for the best quality audio as possible. So with the small rig cage on there, it definitely also helps protect the camera uh, from anything, any issues, um, you know, getting bumped around or anything like that. Um, this particular cage also has a little um, kind of screwdriver built into it that's kind of coin sized and it just slips right in there, uses magnets to hold itself in place. I am a little bummed that small rig doesn't have like built in Arca Swiss, so I can't just slide this into an Arca Swiss plate uh, adapter anymore. Um, and I do notice why it's because now they're selling a new Arca Swiss plate and why build that into their cages when they can sell you another piece, which is how small rig keeps their prices down. They give you some amazing stuff, but you tend to have to adapt them together and buy multiple things in order to build out your kit, just like playing Legos. But um, uh, with the Arca Swiss plate, which I have on order, uh, I will definitely be able to, um, 
mount this the way that I've been used to. Uh, but a lot of times when I'm vlogging, I'm actually using it on like a, um, a small little tripod, like a Pixie, Manfrotto Pixie tripod. Um, I don't have any of them with me right now because um, I, I also just like to hand hold the camera and just hold it out in front of me. Since it's so lightweight, since it has the cage on it, and I can kind of just grip the camera really well like that and hold it, I almost don't have to have any crazy apparatus on the bottom of my camera. I'm not a big fan of the Gorilla Pods just because they're such a pain in the butt to move around. They get squeaky and then you have to like kind of lube them up a little bit and then they're greasy. And I just, I just haven't really enjoyed the Gorilla Pod for much more than using it the way that it was originally designed to be used. Um, I just like holding the camera if at all possible. And I feel like I have a long enough arm to be able to do that. All right, so let's actually go ahead and just look at what some footage looks like. If we go into a vlogging mode, I'm gonna go ahead and hit record on the camera here. Of course, as I'm hitting record, there's a plane flying over the top of me. I'm just gonna keep going because we're on the Deity mic now and you can kind of get an idea of the isolation there with the uh, background and that plane is relatively close. So it's actually pretty loud. Um, I'm at 10 millimeters on the zoom right now. Uh, the A6400 does not have any IBIS, so it doesn't have any internal stabilization, but the 10 to 18 millimeter lens does have OSS, which gives us a little bit of stabilization there. So if I actually zoom in a little bit and kind of get us closer to, uh, to me, we've got the 18 millimeter now. The 18 millimeter is really good, gets you in nice and close, nice and close to your audience and brings everything in tighter. Um, you can see behind us, there's that's not our trailer, that's uh, somebody else's trailer. We're on the property uh, of some people that are letting us stay here right now. And this is where they store uh, one of the trailers that they have. Um, our trailer is right behind us. We've been traveling full time, which is why I've been using this camera setup a lot more. Um, now I'm just kind of switching hands. And with that wooden grip that is on the camera, it makes it really easy for me to hold onto the camera and actually just vlog like this without having any additional apparatus. Let me actually just move into the camera angle here so you can see from the other angle. So I'm just holding onto the camera grip uh, and vlogging straight into the camera, which I think is actually not a bad way of doing it. Um, get back out to, let's say, maybe like 14 millimeters so you can see more of the environment behind us. So um, with this setup, though, it just is really nice because the camera is a great camera. The A6400 is really um, a fantastic camera for the price. You've got the small rig support around the camera, protecting it, giving you a little bit more to hold on to, giving you some additional mounting points, uh, giving you a way to get the microphone out of the way of the articulating screen. We've got the Deity microphone on here, giving us really just superior shotgun style audio, uh, not having to worry about wireless lapel or anything like that. Very simple, easy to use microphone, uh, using a simple cable right into your audio jack here. Utilizing the 10 to 18 millimeter OSS lens on this camera, which gives us the stabilization that we need just to have kind of a little bit more stable vlog. The IBIS on the A6500, I never was too big of a fan of because it just didn't really seem to do a whole lot. Um, yeah, it was better than nothing. And yes, it was actually not bad if you paired it with a lens that had OSS on it, but it just wasn't that much on its own if you were using a lens that didn't have any optical stabilization. So I love the A6400 paired with this lens. I love it with the cage on it because it gives you a little bit more to hold on to. I love the Deity mic, this uh, V-Mic D3, just because it's compact. It's a really nice mic. It has the auto power and on and off functionality, uh, and it's just a great all around microphone. So I don't have to have any like much larger microphone or, I mean, really the only options that I've had have been a much larger microphone or a much smaller microphone. And this is just a perfect mixture of both of those things in one. So what's your vlogging setup or what's your ideal vlogging setup? I'd love to know that down in the comment section below. I'd also love to hear your opinions on this setup. I've got some photos of this that I've taken and posted to our Ditch Auto Instagram, so make sure to go and check us out over on Instagram, which is ditch underscore auto. If you have any questions about this setup, please ask them down in the comments. And if there's anything that you saw in this video that you liked and you're considering either learning more about it 
or purchasing it, click on the links in the description because when you click on those links, it helps support our channel here, which helps us keep our batteries charged and of course keep the lights on and all that good stuff as well. So thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope that you uh, you know learned something or at least saw a kind of a neat setup that might be a little bit similar but different to some of the other setups that are out there as far as vlogging goes while still maintaining something lightweight and still getting excellent, amazing quality footage uh, and images out of it like this little setup here. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Click that thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel and also click that bell icon so you can be notified when we put out new videos. But until then, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.